seed oil is. We have our own oil producing sebum glands on the scalp. We've got sebaceous glands all over the skin and they produce this waxy oily substance that moisturises the skin and is slightly antimicrobial. We've got the largest concentration on the scalp. They produce sebum and the sebum balances the scalp, moisturises it, but also flows along the hair shaft and moisturises that as well. Where we need to add additional oils in is where we've damaged the hair from styling. So that's where hair, um, hair oils can penetrate, they can give the, the hair a smoothness, a fullness, um, and some of them have got proteins and things that are actually absorbed through the follicle. So there is some science in there, but I would still go back to what the hair needs more than anything is moisture. Um, an oil treatment once a week is really good, but doing a moisturising treatment is even better. Oil's occlusive, so if you imagine when you put oil on the hair and it sits over it and the hair needs to breathe, then if you keep building that oil up, it goes the other way. So you've heard of like shampoos like Pantene, when I first use it on my hair, oh, yeah. it's to die for. Six weeks later, I don't know what's going on with my hair. Yeah. It's the silicon that's stuck in the hair and they haven't washed it out enough and it then sends the hair dull. Uh. So it's a question of oil is good, but less is more. Yes. What we're trying to do to encourage hair growth is to stimulate the root. So one of the best ways to do that is with scalp massage. So by using a hair oil um, with stimulating ingredients in there, things like ginseng, chilli, caffeine, um, they all work to stimulate the microcirculation in the scalp and the blood flow to the surface and encourage those hair follicles to grow. So that, that's what we're looking to do when we're looking at, at challenging better hair growth.